Jared Poland from NosePhoto.com, and this is your photo news fix. This photo news fix is brought to you by My Gear Vault, the best way to input, organize, and protect your gear. Download for free for iOS and Android right now at MyGearVault.com. There's just one juicy news story to share with you this time around, and here it is. It looks like Nikon is more leaky than the White House or the Titanic. Even that's funny. The Titanic. Leaky. <laughs> Late last week while I was away, a deck of slides from a Chinese Nikon presentation somehow got leaked, which gave away all the details of the upcoming Nikon D850. Now I do want to make one thing very clear, I don't know how to read Chinese, so we have to take Nikon rumors word for it, meaning everything I'm about to share with you is pure speculation, aka a rumor. Rumor alert! Rumor alert! Rumor alert! Rumor alert! Now I reached out to Nikon for comment and this is the comment I got back. And I quote, Nikon does not comment on speculation or rumors. But they just commented on the comment that I made about speculation and rumors. Shall we break down the leak specs? Sure. The D850 will have reportedly a 45.75 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor, which is a lot of pixels. It will also have an ISO range of 64 to 25,600 with a low one of 32 and a high two of 108,400, which I find pretty odd being that most cameras are 102,000. 400. Hey Steven, I bet the dynamic range at 64 sucks. Uh. It will have a reported 3.2 inch, 2.36 million dot screen with full touch controls, unlike the Sony A9, which has a terrible looking screen. It's true, I've used it, and lacks pretty much all touch functionality. It's still true because I, I used it. Built in Bluetooth and Wi Fi, but no GPS because who really needs GPS in your camera to chew up more battery, eh? WXN. <laughs> Sorry. It will have a 153 point AF system with 30% more frame coverage than the D5. Now, if that is true, that's insane, and it's welcome because the D5 does spread out far, but the Sony A9 spreads out all the way, and if we can split the difference, that will make a lot of people happy. You will be able to shoot at seven frames a second without the grip, and with the grip, you can get nine frames a second because you add an extra battery, you get that extra boost, and you'll be able to shoot 51 raw 14-bit images in a row, which is a lot of data being that these are at least 80 megabyte files. Images will be stored on an XQD card, rest in peace Lexar, and an SD card with the SD slot rumored to be a UHS-2 slot. Now there's no AA filter, which means you should get sharper images, but Steven, did they finish their 12-step program? Hell yeah. As already reported, it will do 8K time-lapse, but if this next statement is true, whoa, whoa, 4K UHD video recording in FX mode, meaning no crop. Now I wonder if this will have dual pixel AF though because Nikon's focusing for video sucks. It will do slow-mo full HD at 120 frames a second. That definitely crushes the 5D, Steven. You will now find back illuminated buttons as well as a joystick just like the D5 and D500. Those back illuminated buttons really do come in handy when you're shooting in low light situations. Now this is an interesting one. It says it has improved silent shooting modes which is highly doubtful because silent modes on Nikon still sound like a tank. The rumors say there will be a fully silent, no sound electric shutter in live mode for six frames a second, but it also says it will do 30 frames per second at eight megapixels with an electronic shutter. Now that's kind of confusing and hard to understand, so we'll have to wait for the official word from Nikon to see what it actually does. But if this is true, whoa again! Whoa! Oh snap, did you hear that? A Sony fanboy just jumped off a ledge. If Nikon is about to release a camera that allows for true silent shooting at full res, not just eight megapixels, that would be huge. And finally, the rumored price is $3,600 for the body only, which is not bad, but remember, you probably need to add a grip, especially if you want that nine frames a second. Again, I wanna reiterate, this is all just a rumor until it's not a rumor, but man oh man oh it's, this is sounding like a stacked camera. I can see the comments now. Nikon didn't do enough. It should have been 8K video. Nikon sucks. Sony is so much better. Nikon should have made the ISO better. My iPhone will take better pictures. Does it shoot JPEG? I only shoot JPEG small. Steven, I wonder who made that comment. 
In all reality, if these specs are true, this will be a beast of a camera and Nikon will sell a ton. It will be perfect for landscapes, portraits, sports, most concerts, and filming photo news fixes in 4K so I can take my D5 back, Steven. What do you guys think? Do these specs seem to be legit or did Nikon pull a fast one on the world by leaking fake news just to mess with people. It's fake, phony, fake. My take is Nikon would never get approval to do that because they're a bunch of <laughs> And there you have it, that's your Photo News Fix this time around. Don't forget to check out the Photo News Fix Extra audio only podcast, which is available wherever podcasts are available. Just search for Frono's Photo Podcast and hit the subscribe, e mix subscribers in button. To check out the last Photo News Fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And if you're on Facebook, go ahead and hit the share button. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.